Have you ever had what they call a jaw dropping moment? The moment when you think, I literally have dropped my jaw. It's jaw dropping. I have a. I mean, I could just watch that all day. I don't know about you. I did the top of this with some sheet music from college, sheets of one of the songs that I sang for a jury on the top of this piece. Um, you can still see some of my notes in pencil there. I'm gonna do the German because you'll laugh at me. La 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 DIY paint is so thick and rich and um, covers so well that one and a half coats is, is all I'm going to need. I like to spray my brush, just one little squirt, uh, and it will make the paint move even better across the surface and spread out a little bit more, which is fantastic. People sometimes will ask, do you paint under here? Why, why would I do that? Are you planning on getting down here and looking under here? I'm 51. I don't care. Pounding. That was my first experience. Nervous on behalf of your children. I don't have to do anything. I can't do anything. All I can do is sit here and watch. It's terrifying, right? Who has experienced that? Tell me in the comments. It's kind of a song story. It's not my song. Uh, at about 10 years old, um, our oldest son, Blake, was asked to sing a solo in their grade school musical thing. Like most people, Blake does not like people to make a fuss over him, but we knew he could sing. So when he came home and said, she said I have to play the wizard tonight. Thank you, the best ever. I was like, really? Immediately started praying. The parents are gonna find the worst case scenario. Why do we go straight to that? What if he forgets his words? What if he doesn't think he sounded good? He won't. It's gonna make him go, see, I told you I couldn't do it and he won't ever want to sing again. Leading up to the show, I never heard him practicing it at home. And I say, hey, you, I'm sure it's great. You need to practice it beforehand because uh, you, you tend to perform it like you practice. And if you haven't practiced, he said, I know, I practiced, I know it. You need to be sure you memorize the words because if you, you might forget them, mother of the year. Please, Lord, let him do his best. Don't let him forget the words. I'm adding uh, O57 here on top of the blue iris to create um, a, a third color. See, it's sort of the mid-tone between the two shades, which is beautiful. And then we can put O57 again on top of that and make three layers. And if we just spray it with a little water, we can watch the two colors just settle and blend and drip. And then if I spray it again around the edges, it will expose that blue iris a little bit for a little more contrast. Watch it drip again, because it's just fun. I mean, come on. <laughs> come on, look at that. I mixed Fire Starter, Cowgirl Coral, and a little kissing booth to get what I thought would be the perfect coral, um, but, but it wasn't. I wanted to add just a little bit of a warmer tone because I just love them. For your flat surfaces, uh, you can use a plain old putty knife to add some color and texture that is a little more organic looking. That does not look good. I don't like it. However, right there, that's a winner. I decided to put just a few little little dashes of color there on the edge there. I'm going to regret that. Okay, I did not cover it up completely. I put more of the O57 over the top because I do not hide my mistakes. Sometimes you win, sometimes you learn. So since I don't love that coral is not the color I thought it quite would be, let's add some kissing booth and make it a little brighter and pinker. 
I'm going to use my palette knife. Nothing fancy. I'm just making a simple little abstract rose. It's really not too difficult. If you really will just make little crescent shapes going in a circle, sort of, um, it's, it makes a very nice abstract little flower. On the day of the show, he didn't seem nervous. He just doesn't understand. He's going to be a wreck beforehand. You doing okay? You'll be fine. You'll be fine. I know. It's fine. I'm fine. <laughs> he's a wreck. Never heard what he's doing. We we're like, what? What is? What are you singing? It's like just the the wizard song. Be with him, please help him, please help him, please help him. My heart pounding. That was big video camera at the time. Like this big, I'm holding it right here. Come on. I'm gonna get it on camera. <laughs> now I'm just going back and adding the coral into those little roses I made. Just. Three or four little strokes is all it takes. Now that my paint has dried, my blues have dried a little bit, I can um, wet distress it just using a wet wipe. Uh, or you can use just a rag with a little water on it and uh, wipe back some of that color so that you can reveal the, the underneath color. Now's my favorite part, DIY wax. I mean, I could just watch that all day. I don't know about you. There's no wiping on, wiping off, having to worry about too much or too little. You just let it soak into that paint and then let it dry and then buff it and it will be a nice hard sheen. Sheeny. He starts to step out. There's a garden spot, I'm told, where it's never too hot and it's never too cold, where you're never too young and you're never too old and you're never too big or tall. Crying. Who is this child? Ho, 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 and a couple of lardy daws. That's how we love the day. And he's now 28. What? He still didn't sing again in public until high school. It's all right. That top bit there should not have added that color there, so I'm just going to take my old 57 and just brush it right over the top of it. And um, I think that looks a lot better. Too much of a good thing sometimes. And I'll let that dry and then I'll put some wax over that and be done. Now it's a pretty place in my studio to keep my wardrobe shoes and my makeup. You, you mean you don't keep your wardrobe in your in your studio? Oh, okay. I use the, the drawers for the clothes. Because I live right here. Over there. I originally um, put Mod Podge on the top of these, over these music sheets to preserve them. Um, but I did this several years ago and I've done a lot of painting and washing and wiping and scraping. So I'm gonna put my liquid patina over the top of it to protect it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you will go watch my videos on my channel, which is She Paints. Forget to subscribe to DIY A Go Go. If you've not watched any of Debbie's Design Diaries videos on her YouTube channel, you should go check those out and more delicious things than you're seeing right here. You can find all the products I used in this video at ShePaintStudio.com or your nearest local retailer. Is she kind of distracting? Just can't. Because the most precious thing we have is time. Can't get it back. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> time is precious. And I appreciate you spending your time here watching.